Hi everyone, I hope you're all enjoying your Celebrate the Fens Day. My name is Matt Hayes and I'm a research assistant working at the University Museum of Zoology in Cambridge where I study butterflies. So today what I want to do is talk to you about some of the amazing butterfly species that used to live in the fens and how in the future we hope they'll be able to live there again. The University Museum of Zoology in Cambridge and the Wisbeach and Fenland Museum both store thousands of historical insect specimens behind the scenes. Some of these insects are nearly 200 years old and the information they contain can act a bit like a time machine, showing a species that used to live in the country which can be compared with species that still live here today. The project I am working on is supported by the Esme Fairburn Collections Fund, run by the Museums Association. My goal is to record all of the UK butterfly data held in these museum collections so I can spread the word about how much things have changed and hopefully support species into the future. Let's take a look at an example of some Fenland butterflies and see how museum collections can tell us about long-term change. This is a swallowtail butterfly specimen from the University Museum of Zoology in Cambridge, and this is a large copper butterfly. These were collected from Cambridgeshire over 150 years ago, and specimens like these also exist in the Wisbeach and Fenland Museum. Museum records say that swallowtail butterflies were found in great plenty in the fens of Cambridgeshire, and that the large copper was not uncommon. However, today it is quite a different story. The swallowtail butterfly is now extinct in Cambridgeshire and can only be found in the wetlands of Norfolk, whereas the large copper butterfly has been completely lost from the country. Therefore, the museum specimens show us that a very large change has occurred. Why then have these species declined? The answer is habitat loss. These are wetland specialist butterflies that require wet fenland to survive. The blue outline on this map shows the former extent of wetland in southeast England and it is thought that over the last few hundred years, more than 99% of this habitat has been drained to make space for farmland. Sadly, as this habitat has disappeared, so too have many of the species that relied on it. However, not all hope is lost. Some patches of Fenland did survive, and what's more, local conservation organisations are working to expand them and re-wet areas of the landscape. The Great Fen, owned by the Wildlife Trust for Bedfordshire, Cambridgeshire and Northamptonshire, aims to re-establish a 3,700 hectare reserve. The site is highlighted on the map in red. Although it may look like a drop in the ocean compared to the fenland that was here before, the Great Fen will provide a vast area to support species that rely on this habitat. So, as we celebrate the fens, we should think about the diverse array of animals and plants that have been lost from this habitat in the past, but also look to the future as this habitat gets restored. To do this, I've made a colouring craft to represent butterflies fading and reappearing in the fens over time. Here is a very colourful swallowtail butterfly. To represent the decline of fenland butterflies, we can gradually remove its colours. Then, to show the butterflies recovering, we can add the colours back. This template of three blank swallowtail butterflies can be downloaded from the museum website. With the butterfly on the far left, try using 10 different colours and colour in all of the wing patches. For the middle butterfly, try using 5 colours and only colour in half of the wing patches. Then finally, for the butterfly on the far right, you can leave it completely blank or just colour in the body. Now, you can follow the red arrow to see the impact of Fenland habitat loss, or you can follow the green arrow to see the impact of Fenland habitat restoration. If you want, you could even print out more than one sheet and show more gradual changes by lining up six or nine butterflies in a row. Thanks very much for listening, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day celebrating the fens.